What is going on, YouTube? This is I'm Remedy with a, another video. This video is a little different. You're going to notice I'm not on Destiny. My mouse is going out, so I can't really play, and I refuse to relearn controllers, so here we are. Today, we're going to be talking about the Werebear. And basically, uh, I love this build. I made it. I didn't follow a guide for it. I just kind of put it together, um, and it turns out it works really well. Really well. Uh, so the first thing, we're going to look at the helmet. I have 11.3% damage while shapeshifted, 31.5% overpowered damage. Of course, that huge bump in life, that's why I have 10,000 HP. And then I get 10.5% total armor while in the werebear form. Werebear form is now my true form, and I get a plus 2 rank to all werebear skills. So this Frostburn, uh, obviously it's really good, and I got a really good roll on it. I'm happy with it, to be honest with you. 12. A 12% critical strike tent, 17.2 gold damage, 9.7 freeze duration, and I get the lucky hit of 5% chance to retort, restore, not retort, plus 18.8% of my primary resource, up to a 20% chance to freeze enemies for 2 seconds. This is really good for attic control, especially when I'm pulverizing. Uh, for my pants, we have damaging an elite grants me a barrier, which goes into staying alive that is almost 5,000 damage. They, sh I, they should have just gave me the 5,000 damage. But I get it for 10 seconds, and it can only be procced every 30 seconds, which is fair. I think that, you know, I would just never die if that was the case. This is where the build gets interesting, though. So I will go over my skill tree, but I want to explain this first. So when the Nature's Fury key passive triggers a free skill, my non-ultimate cooldowns of the opposite type are reduced by 6 seconds. And then... We have this bad boy right here. Pulverize is now also an earth skill. After casting Pulverize, Tectonic Spikes continue to deal damage. Of course, it's 3260. Damage for over 2 seconds. So then we have my amulet here. Trample now summons 6 landslide pillars of earth during its duration. And that deals 114% normal damage. Trample is now also a nature magic and earth skill. Then we got werewolf skills function as storm skills and werebear skills function as earth skills for the nature nature's fury passive. This is, I mean, this piece and this one right here really meshes this build together, guys. So good. I am so in love with this build. I'm so proud of myself for making it. Although there might be other people that made it. But this is my Hulk Thor, Thor build, so it, it is what it is at the end of the day. So then we have Pulverize creates a shockwave that travels forward dealing 60% damage of its damage to targets in the path. Now, let's go to the abilities. So, because of Nature's Fury, which is down here, when I cast an Earth skill, it has a 30% chance to trigger a Free Storm skill of the same category. What, th what this means is that when I cast Earth Spike, I have a chance to activate wind shear or storm strike i'm pretty sure it's mainly storm strike that gets activated from here and when i act activate pulverize tornado or lightning storm will do it because as you know pul pulverize being a werebear skill it's now an earth skill so it does proc it does trigger when i proc this is probably my favorite you guys this is probably my favorite when i cast earth and Bul bulwark and I use it, obviously I get that barrier, right? But on top of that, because of Nature's Fury, I get Cyclone Armor, which gives me a 11.9% non-physical damage reduction, and it knocks enemies back for 3,468 damage. So then, and that goes for Trample as well. Trample can also cause this to activate. It's the same difference. Um, oh, that wasn't even trample. That was debilitating roar. Oh, um, a gem. Ignore that. Shoals don't even say it. Trample will activate hurricane, obviously, because that is a wind. Um, and this is counted as an earth skill. This is where it gets juicy, though. You can pop two ults, guys. You have a 30% chance the cataclysm will proc on grizzly rage. Now, 
Hopefully we get good at RNG and it actually procs, but we're going to go ahead and run through the build. I'm not going to go over Paragon points right now because I feel that with every individual it's different. The way I'm building my wear bear could be different from yours and it's just how it is. All right. So far, not lucky. And this is live, this is not me over uh, doing it over recorded. There it is, we got the we got the hurricane. We had our tornado going. There was cyclone armor that pushed the enemy away right there. Trample. Yep, did you see that? Trample activated hurricane and lightning storm at the same time, as said before. And it's not always going to proc you guys. You get a 30% chance. And these extra abilities really do help. It gets me out of tight situations a lot. Plus the extra cooldowns are really good so I can keep my... I'm getting frozen. There it is. Cataclysm procced as I procced Grizzle Rage, you guys. And look at the damage. This build is absolutely insane. I love it. See how much that saved me right there? Because Cataclysm procced when I actually needed it to, we were able to survive in this sticky situation. It's just great for ad clearing. It's great for putting out that extra damage, especially when you're getting frozen and you have those storm skills proccing for you. There it is, lightning storm again. And of course, as you know, Cataclysm uh, will follow you around, and it will do damage over time. And I guess for the sake of it, we might as well go over the Spirit Boons. So I went with Wariness, which gives me a 10% reduced damage from Elite. Uh, Iron Feather gives me a 10% buff to my maximum life. Then we got Fortify for 10% of your maximum life when you use a defensive skill. And then critical strikes while shapeshifting skills heal you for 3% of your maximum life. And then we have lucky hit nature magic skills have up to a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill by 2 seconds. Now the calm before the storm is really where this build gets juicy because of the simple fact that all of my abilities become nature skills because of nature's fury. Not only that because of the... Um, because of this for one and for two because of this so this is a really cool uh build guys if you like what you see and you like what i do please drop a like tell me what your favorite build in the game i literally i'm so obsessed with this game dude i love it so much um and i hope you guys have a great day